Hey guys, HMK here once again with another episode of Daily Dose for Zelda Hype. It's going down almost, we're almost at that 3 day mark guys. Holy shit, Breath of the Wild. And yes my hypelings, just to make sure you guys know, we hit 95k. We are at the home stretch. If I hit 100k before March, I'm giving away a Nintendo Switch. And be sure to enter my existing Breath of the Wild giveaway. I'm giving away 3 copies. Everything you need to know is in the description box below so let's get into today's video and just so you know I do have something a little special plan for the 30 day countdown that's gonna incorporate you guys so yeah uh, all in all I do have to say that this is minor spoiler warning it is nothing to do with story it has something to do with mechanics and uh, the options menu for the game so if you don't want to be spoiled in that type of sense there is your warning, but it's not in too substantial. It's more speculation than anything else. I just want to let you guys know. So, uh, some guy was able to get uh, get a hold on a build of the game, one of the complete builds, while messing around at one of the events or whatever. Where Breath of the Wild is playable, it's literally playable at almost any event before the March third release. And he messed around with it to the point where we can go into the options menu, and everything there is laid out for you guys. And you can even turn on amiibo sensitivity, not amiibo sensitivity, amiibo compatibility in the game. So if you really want to test your metal, like no Wolf Link, no Archer Link, no, no, none of that, you can turn off amiibo. You could invert Y, X axis, all that good jazz, pretty much standard. But then we go into something that's called ability controls. That's new. That's new, and no, I am not talking about runes, because runes is something completely different, and it seems to be like 8 plus slots for abilities, and don't worry, they're all marked by question marks, we don't know what they are. There's a lot of uh, speculation that says that maybe they're talking about abilities like Flurry Rush, and your Stamina Gauge, or how you control your runes, but, I mean, if this guy got a hold on to the game like this to, uh, at the beginning, because... When you play the demo, you have Flurry Rush from the, from the beginning. It could be that in the full build of the game, you don't have Flurry Rush in the beginning. It's something you're going to have to acquire from a shrine or a great fairy or something like that. But we don't know. From what we know about playing the game, because I've played the game a couple of times already, Flurry Rush is at your disposal in the very beginning, right? And it's not something that you will be able to, like, toggle controls for because it's, it's not that hard to, like do and it's not something that you have to press a certain button for all you have to do is dodge at a certain time and just spam Y for the flurry rush or you know uh take out your bow as you're paragliding and then technically flurry rush it's not a, it's not a flurry rush it's just you know bullet time or whatever so I mean it it probably isn't that now a lot of people are speculating that maybe this ability list is going down along the lines of Twilight Princess even though it's just abilities and not sword, uh, sword, hidden sword skills. This has me very excited because, you know, a lot of people are showing off and saying that, and I say this as well, Breath of the Wild, when you play, you understand there is a bit of RPG elements more so than any other Zelda game in this. You know, uh, swords have attack values. Uh, not just swords, but all types of weaponry. Um, clothing and armor, they have defense values. Um, enemies as well. They have all of this stuff. So that's a very, you know woven RPG element when it comes to do it but I mean Link doesn't level up or anything I mean he gets stronger gets better abilities but that's in every uh, Zelda game or whatever but what are these abilities what could they be that's very interesting you know um, and especially if there is a way to get these abilities and like you know switch up how they're controlled then they have to be a little bit more substantial than something called something like flare rush it could be runes but at the same time, like, we, we, we can get runes and we can have runes from the beginning what we played at the demos and stuff like that. So, I mean, why would they be marked as a question mark? Like, Nintendo, what, what, like, what you trying to do? And then also at the same time, when dealing with all these options. So, there's something I forgot to let you guys know, but this is very cool. Uh, most, if not all Nintendo Switch games, have the ability of button mapping. So, you can actually shift around the controls of, you know, um, Breath of the Wild. You can button map and stuff. And then that goes down to the question of abilities and what they could do, button mapping, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, that could be tied to a sense because maybe you could button map a different ability such as crouching and stealth. You can button map it differently. And that's what the abilities could go along lines for. Because uh, for crouching, stealth, you have to press a stick. And then I'm like, ah, I might just end up switching crouch 
with a uh, sprint and make sprint the toggle for the stick and then press a button for crouch. So I mean, it could be do it could be dashing, it could be climbing, it could be um, stealthing and stuff. All those abilities, but then at the same time, they're all marked. Maybe improved versions of that. Maybe you can get an improved version that if you stealth down for like long enough, Link turns invisible for a good amount of time. But doesn't that sound cool? Link could dash faster, Pegasus boots, he gains the uh, Pegasus boots and incorporates that into his actual boots. Or like, you know, the spirit of the Pegasus boots, spirit of the invisible tiger or some shit, I don't know. But this is very exciting and I want to know what you guys think, what these abilities could be. Because I mean, they're up, up in the air and I'm going to make another video about this very soon because there's a lot about this game that we don't know. And that is delicious. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit a like, share, favorite, all that good jazz. And remember, if I hit 100k before March, Nintendo Switch giveaway. And be sure to enter my Breath of the Wild existing giveaway. So until next Breath of the Wild video, and they're going to come out almost daily, if not daily for you guys. Man, we're almost at the 30 days, guys. So guys, until then, I'll check you guys later.